policy makers are largely a reflection of society. So the society is what defines policy and administration and governance. And that way I feel science can really help in contributing in, towards the right information. That's number one. The second aspect of it is to make policy more holistic rather than more reactive. So in the case of elephant and elephant conservation, I think we need to look at more proactive policies that are more long term and futuristic rather than that is more temporary and short term. Right. So because if if you look at the issues currently, we've we've experienced conflict for many years, at least in documented history, we have close to about four or five decades of documented history of human elephant conflict. And we've still not been able to address uh, conflict in a very holistic sense. So therefore, we need to look at a more focused approach rather than a more generic way of doing it.